Hello and welcome back to Shanti Finance. Here we are at another episode of uh, my artwork and uh, sharing my artwork. Today's is a sharing a painting paint time lapse or a speed painting rather. And this one is uh, inspired by my visit during the spring break uh, to Florida. I am really attached to beach beaches and uh, this time I just did quite a bit of works after I came back around seascapes and beaches. However, this particular work, it's called the big and the little. This has a very long story. It has a twin painting which I will share with you at the end of the video um which um uh, is based on the similar concept so i thought while you are watching uh, this painting let me share a little bit about uh, this painting like what i was thinking what was my thought process and how i came up with this idea so i'm very fond of conch shells and obviously like i said i'm very fond of sea beaches as well so i wanted to paint that and then um i was looking at this reference picture of a conch shell one day and it looked so huge um because of the certain camera angle and everything else looked so little and i just came upon this idea of, of calling um a uh, of a painting and wanted to call it the big and the little or the perceptions and uh, the whole idea is about perceptions how we look at things um when we are close to something it looks different when we are far away from something it looks different so is big and little if you uh, think realistically this little girl that i'm painting sitting on the sea beach is far far bigger um than this conch shell that is also in the painting however when uh, looked at for, from a certain perspective the the little girl seems much much smaller and the, even the sea is smaller compared to the conch shell the conch shell looks so big so what is really big and what is really little it's just our perceptions and and that that kind of extends to all our life and existence and thoughts and uh, processes about um life and everything that we think is so important and so big is not really that big in the long run and then everything that is so little and so insignificant every day but they are the actually big things so that's why this painting um although everybody says that artists should not share their thoughts and viewpoints with the viewers because that is kind of like telling the viewers what to see but i really wanted to share this thought process with you so that's that that's about this big and the little and uh, when we come to the end of this painting i will also share uh, the sister painting of this one and i hope you like both of them let me know uh, whether you enjoyed this painting and uh, its uh, cousin um by your comments and likes and uh, also by subscribing you are most uh most you will be most knowledgeable about what are the current things that i am working on what videos are coming up when it's getting posted you'll get notifications that's why i always recommend please subscribe and uh, another thing um i wanted to ask you guys um i was thinking that i have done quite a few uh sea paintings and i've seen that uh people like them over my facebook page and other instagram and other social media so i thought i'd uh do a video kind of breaking down and showing how to paint sea water and beaches um if you're interested please let me know that would kind of motivate me to do it um uh, faster otherwise i'll still do it but maybe it will take a very long time um about this painting little more about this painting like the technicalities i started off with the uh, 
acrylic painting to block in the major parts but as soon as I started with the details I switched over to oil paints oil paints are my first love and I always like to paint with them however acrylics being a very fast drying medium sometimes when you're blocking in if you can do the furry very first few layers with acrylic that hastens your process of painting and that helps me finish paintings faster so that I can make videos and share with you faster so that's why I do oil over acrylic that's also um, something that I wanted to share for a long time so took this um, episode as an opportunity to share that maybe I'll do a separate vid video talking about oil over acrylics um, and what are the advantages and how to do it um, let me know if you would like to um, hear that too as usual I will link all of the materials used in the video description though this is not was not a painting tutorial but I'll still do that also the description of the painting and all my social media presents and uh, everything all the links that I have in case you're interested to purchase this painting or have any more questions feel free to email me or contact me via my website all information again is in below in the description box so always look into the description box because I try to provide a lot of information here we are at the end of the painting this is a finished painting don't forget to tell me how you liked it or disliked it i am interested to know all the comments that you have good or bad thank you for watching <laughs>